Hello Barmy Banjo Army, I hope you're all well guys, welcome to the show. This is another episode of a pickup type episode. We did a library one the other month where we uh, talked about Power Rangers and all the different videos we, and um, books we picked up there as well, which was great. And now we're going to do like a CEX pickup. Um, now this is very interesting because I'm trying to build a bit of a collection of like retro films up and... It's slow going because I'm looking for bargains, but CEX is obviously the best place to go for that sort of thing. And obviously I'm looking for as cheap as chips and uh, trying to really get the good stuff that reminds me of my childhood. And i tell you for why. Now this is one of my favourite films of all time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first independent film to make tons of money and it was a real risk for the studio did really well in hindsight, but they didn't even know it would make money. And I remember there's a little bit of a story towards this. And um, basically, my dad sent us in for a competition. So, and we won. So when we got there, we got to a free private screening of the Turtles film. I believe it was even before it came out in the cinema. So we went to see it. And we got free collectible cards. I think we may have even got free uh, Turtles merchandise as well, like a figure or so each. I'm sure we did. And um, it was fantastic seeing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the big screen. And it was so cool. And it was n like nothing I've ever seen because it was so dark, so brooding and so cool for a Turtles film. And if you think, right, this was when... Political correctness, you know, they weren't sure about this. And so, you know, you had a Turtles film, a kid's film, with nunchuckers in, with size, with katanas and bow staffs and all sorts of really, you know, violent weapons, really. And it was insane when you thought that this was a PG and kids were seeing it and they were battling away. And obviously... As the time progressed in the other films, they changed it and they made it so it was a lot more comical. But in this one, there were some really good fight scenes and they used some really good martial arts weaponry. It's fantastic. And if you think the guys are in the suits, so they're not, it's not CGI, there's actual people in these turtle suits doing martial arts. I think it's fantastic. When you think about it like that, and the Jim Henson puppets as well. It's great. So I managed to pick this up for £1.50. And even though the disc needs a bit of a clean, it's a fantastic bargain. You know, this was £1.50. And for a slice of my childhood, it's just great. Yeah, so I'm just going to read the back to you as well. And yeah, £1.50 is a really good bargain from Romford CEX. Uh, so you bought the toys and seen the cartoon. But it's ain't no animation, dudes and dudettes. I love that. These turtles are real. Wisecracking, pizza munching, butt kicking. Here is in a half shell. Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello and Leonardo are back in a fully restored, turtley, bodacious, full-length version of the original film. It's 15 years after four baby turtles became super reptiles after being contaminated by the ooze in New York sewer. When they are... Hello, teacher and life guide Splinter is a rat napped by a gang of deadly assassins by the wicked leader, the Shredder. The awesome foursome become embroiled in a breathtaking race against time. On its original cinema release, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles became the highest grossing independent film of all time. Now's your chance to relive the legend that was being copied but never equaled. So, here's an interesting thought. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... We're about 15. So can you imagine they were mutants fighting the Shredder at the age of 15? So that's pretty interesting when you think about it. So they put them really early on as teenagers in this as well. It's pretty cool. And obviously this is fully restored and all the business. I do recommend this. If you can get it from CH for £1.50 for a slice of fried childhood, it's fantastic. So that's really good. And another one we picked up. Now... This was a bit more expensive, but not by much. And obviously you get two films in there. There's Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and that's a double disc set. 
And um, Banjo Jr., of course, loves um, the first one. It's got Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in. You may have seen the Playmobil vlogs. If you haven't, please do check them out. We talk about the um, different Ghostbusters toys in that. But yeah, let's open it up and I'll have a bit of a read through. So there's the back and the front without the uh, stickers on there. Okay, I'm a bit of a purist really. Once the stickers are on there, I don't really like taking them off. Um, so yeah, you've got Ghostbusters 1 and 2 there. Really interesting cover design and an interesting disc design there really when you think about how it's all scratched up and almost like in I suppose pencil. It's like a pencil effect. I guess they're going for the real sort of retro aspect there where it's like it could have been a kid that made the DVD design, I guess. Pretty cool, very rustic. So prepare to spend some quality slime time with Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. In this double feature set, each with an assortment of otherworldly extras, but when it comes to supernaturally classic comedy, who are you gonna call? When college props Peter Venkman, Ray Stance and Egon Spengler lose their jobs, they decide to go into the freelance Ghostbusting business their first job saving Dana Barrett and Lewis Tully, who have inadvertently opened the gates of hell right now in their own apartment building. The paratroopers of the paranormal swing back into hilarious action in Ghostbusters 2 when the underground river of ghoulish goo threatens the root of the Big Apple to the core. Saving the world has never been so outrageously funny. Now, I must admit, this is a really good set for £2.50. I mean, a really good bargain. Like it says on there, there is some extras in there. Uh, they're okay, obviously. The the Blu-ray release that they released probably a couple of years ago got better extras on it, but I'm not really that worried about the extras. I was more for the two main films. If you like extras, it's good, worth picking this up, and, of course, the Blu-ray if you want. The one thing I'll say about the Blu-ray is I don't think it actually helps the film that much. It tends to show... Um, some of the flaws in the animation, some of the flaws in the effects. So I actually think getting it on Blu-ray is better because you get to see it in a bit more of a rustic 80s fashion, if that makes sense. Like when it's too clean, I actually think it ruins the film. But you know, it's an each to their own kind of thing. Sometimes films like Ghostbusters, I don't think they really lend to it. Films like Cleopatra, now that looks brilliant on Blu-ray, so I recommend checking that out if you've got four hours. So I recommend doing that. But yes, fantastic bargains here today. I think these were really good. And let me know some of the different things that you think we should pick up that are, of course, Badger Junior friendly. I won't be able to like show you Lost Boys or anything, but I have actually rented that from my work library. So yeah, anything that you think is child friendly that you think is 80s and 90s fun let me know in the comments because i'd love to hear what you would be interested in re-watching yourself and i'm really looking forward to re-watching these loads we certainly got our money's worth out the ghostbusters one already i think we've watched both at least four times and uh, we watched this the other weekend it's really good and um some films when you watch them back you think well that wasn't as good as i remember it but these, I recommend them, I really do. Um, yeah, the Turtles film definitely stands the test of time. And uh, for a big fan, I was obsessed with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a child. And I had all the figures and all the toys and all the comics and everything. In fact, a bit of a side note, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles helped me learn to read. Because it was really tough. And the fact that I was able to really, really want to know what my heroes were doing in the comic books. That's actually what spurred me on to learn to read. So, you know, I've got a lot to thank to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, actually. But yeah, so it's an interesting little story there for you guys that I actually went to see one of the special premieres of this film. And that's probably one of my favourite childhood memories, actually. It was really good that we won the competition. So please do let me know what you think of today's vlog. And uh, do you think these were good bargains? I certainly do. £1.50 for this, which isn't too bad. And uh, £2.50 for a double disc set. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know if you enjoyed today's 
video. A big shout out to, of course, everyone that sponsors and helps the show, because without you, these vlogs would not happen. So thank you very much, guys, for all of your support and help with the channel. And don't forget to, of course, subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to like and comment and say hi. See you next time, guys. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog, video, or stream. Bye!